This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with the weather. Well, Diane, we have our storm continuing across the area south and west for tonight into tomorrow. The rain will continue in the lower elevations. The rain will change back to snow in the mountains. And when we see the clearing, it will likely be by tomorrow afternoon. So continuing with the wet conditions there. Here in the metro, it's mainly been a rain event, although the East Mountains have picked up some snow tonight. The rain will continue. Then the rain's likely to change over to snow at least briefly here in the valley, but probably not long enough to create a whole lot of accumulating snow and clearing skies during the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, over the northern mountains, the storm targets our resorts where we're going to see significant accumulations throughout the night, three to six inches of additional snow, more than that at resort level. And then the snow tapers off during the day on Wednesday. We get a break for Thursday, and another storm comes in for the weekend. Jerome Block Jr. is back in jail again. The former PRC commissioner was booked into the Santa Fe County Jail around 3.30 this afternoon. But jail records don't show why he's locked up. This is the third time Block has been taken into custody since he pled guilty to misusing his state-issued gas card and resigned from office in October. He was arrested twice last month, the first time for failing a drug test, the second time for breaking drug court rules. The boy who set a fire in the Bosque last summer will apparently spend most of the winter locked up. In juvenile court today, 14-year-old Jose Diaz refused a plea deal that could have kept him locked up for two years. Diaz was put on probation for trying to torch the Bosque when the fire danger was so high last July. He was locked up in October after he was arrested for stealing from a smoke shop. The plea deal he turned down was for that crime. He'll remain in custody while both sides try again to reach a plea agreement. If they don't, he'll go on trial. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.